entry. So the reversing entry, we're just going to do the exact opposite of what we did before. We're going to make it as of the first day of the next time period, 3, 1. And we could, we could, since there's only two accounts, put the debits on top. But I'm going to keep with the method of the reversing entries being the exact opposite, going from top to bottom, same accounts, but just changing the debits and credits. Because when you get a longer transaction, I think that's the easiest method to do. So I'm just going to keep the AR on top and the unearned revenue on the bottom, but I'm going to represent the accounts receivable as a credit with an indentation in the credit side, and it's going to be a negative representing a credit on top, and then the unearned revenue is going to be a debit on the debit side in the debit column positive number. Let's post it out. We got the accounts receivable. That's going to be the AR. Now, I need to unhide a couple cells up top because I've got my, my reversing columns in here so I'm going to go from AO to AS right click and unhide those cells so I'm looking for accounts receivable right here double clicking on it going to the end of it and saying plus putting the cursor back down we're picking up the unearned revenue or the accounts receivable and so there there we have it we were, we were at the 227 seven uh 176 and then we had these two adjusting entries that we put in place both of them being reversed then these two reversing entries and that brings us back to where we started at after after the reversing entries on three one the other side then it's going to go to to the unearned revenue unearned revenue that's going to be here and we are in ap21 equals scrolling down